Hello, my fellow researchers. We are using many AI tools recently for working in our research articles or writing our research or even organizing our research. One of the best tools I recently explored to the full potential is Jenny.ai. I know many of you have already used this tool and you are familiar with the interface, but this tool can do much, much more than what we think. It can help us writing introduction, literature review, and even it can help us writing the whole research article. We can use this tool to write our research article quickly, and also we can work within the systematic literature review or any literature review framework where we can ask this tool to cite references from our own documents and our own uh, reference list. This is an amazing feature, and I use this tool in my research workflow especially when writing systematic literature book introduction and conclusion section. Let's learn how we can use this tool. Let's start working with Jenny.ai. This is the interface for Jenny.ai. You can see that it's an amazing tool and I generated many different ideas from this Jenny.ai. And I use this tool most of the time for writing and rewriting about my content and the ideas I have already developed from different tools. So this is a really, really powerful tool. Uh, let's look into the functionalities of this tool first, and then we will talk about how we can use this Jenny.ai in our uh, workflow. So let's look into the, the interface of the Jenny.ai. This is Jenny.ai first landing page and once you start writing, it will ask you for creating login. I'm using my Gmail account, so it's very simple to start working with Jenny.ai. Once you log into Jenny.ai, this is the first interface you will be redirected to. So you need to write what exactly you want to write and if you want to follow up any structure, for example, standard heading or creative heading. So it means that you're following a very specific research article that is for those people who want to write a complete research article from Jenny.ai. This is not what we are going to do. We'll be using this Jenny.ai to generate some ideas and find relevant literature. So let's look into this one. This is no outline. So I can use this no outline or we can use a standard headings or creative headings. So let's, let's start working with no outline. And I want to write how AI can be useful for risk management in global supply chain. This is the topic I'm writing from the start. Uh, this is a very general topic. I, I didn't choose a very specific topic for a reason because uh, all my learners are from different uh, backgrounds. So this is uh, a simple research question that makes sense to almost everyone. And this is not very broader. So it is like a uh, a medium level of research articles where you can learn how AI can be used for risk management in global supply chain. And just we can click on start writing and now the system will automatically start writing for you. So let's start writing. Now in today's dynamic and interconnected global economy, effective supply chain risk management has become a critical concern for businesses seeking to maintain operational resilience and continuity. This is an amazing start. The system is taking these citations automatically. So I can use this option cite and it will give you a list of citations where you can see all the citations are being generated and the related research articles are also given here. You can see that it is also giving you the publisher name, uh, mostly good publishers. Also giving you how many people have uh, cited that particular research article you are planning to cite. So just click on cite and this will automatically cite that research article. And these research articles are on the relevance of this research. The write-up uh, with Jenny.ai have already generated. So you can also work with the documents, library, and AI chat. So these are uh, other features of this uh, AI tool. For example, if I want to click on documents, I click on this add button and you can add new documents here. So these are documents are like the write-ups, okay, your write-ups. So you can create multiple write-ups here, multiple uh, research articles or multiple areas. In most of the time, I create like uh, documents, for example, different for introduction, for literature review and so on. This is for 
different documents and you can also create library. Library is a very useful feature for Jenny.ai. Why it is powerful and, and I love this idea to use Jenny.ai with Scopus and all other databases. So in the library, you can have sources and collections. So in the sources, you can add any sort of a big text file, upload any PDF file, or you can create different folders for your work. For example, I'm using testing folder. So maybe I can. So this is my folder now and I can upload any PDF file, text file, similar like sizepaste.ai. You can just upload 10 files at a time. But obviously you can use this process multiple times to upload multiple files. So for me, I have uh, 49 files here. So I, I have to upload 10 files every time. So all my files have been uploaded now and it is in the co uh, collection with the name of AI in Splice in risk management. So now you can work with these documents. If you want to cite this, this is option available for citing any research article, or if you want to view that article or want to chat with this article, this is option. So if, if you flick on the view article and click on chat AI, so you will see another interface where uh, the document is being displayed and you can ask any research, uh, any question about that uh, research article or that uh, particular document. And also you can see a summary of these uh, research article would automatically be generated. So you can quickly ask any question. It will all automatically give you a few suggestions, but you can ask uh, any question related to your research area and uh, the idea you are working with. So uh, this is a very simple interface which every AI tool have. Um, most of the AI tools are working similarly and you can uh, work with these tools, talk to these ideas, uh, these PDF files and generate a few insights from these uh, files. So this is how uh, Jenny.ai can help you working with your uh, research article. This is very simple way of interacting with this uh, Jenny.ai. It's also have AI chat option, which I have already explained. So it's very simple interface, amazing and very useful. But the idea is how we can use this Jenny.ai in our research is different. So we will be using this Jenny.ai for writing. Sometime we will be writing introduction. Sometime we'll be working within maybe a literature review and conclusion and all this. So how can we do this and how we are using this for our research and, and the workflow, which is uh, step four, where we are going to conclude everything and writing our conclusion. So this is where Jenny.ai would be really handy tool for you. And you can work with, with this Jenny.ai in an amazing way. The idea is in our workflow, we are working with a list of research articles which have been extracted from Scopus or Web of Sciences, as we already know that. And we have generated different themes or sub themes. For each theme, maybe we have a limited number of research articles. We can extract those research articles and the list of those articles. We want to write with Jenny.ai, but also we want to write within that the context of our research and we want to cite the article which we have extracted from the Scopus because that is uh, the best idea to follow the uh, Prisma guidelines. Click on simple document and new document. Let's click on new document. I'll start with no outline. My area type here the research question we have drafted in our research. So I'm copying this research question and I paste this research question here. And without no outline, I started writing. So my idea is I would start writing an introduction okay, so now with this. But remember when I extracted all these research articles, I use this criteria and exclusion criteria. I just used research articles and limited my research to a uh, research article. And this is the final research article I found in Scopus. We have 66 research articles. So I'll just click here and export all of them into BIP text file. Okay, so bib text and I need all information. Now I have all those PDF files and also this uh, bib text file, which is actually Jenny can read it and create a library. So within this uh, AI in supply chain risk management, we have those PDF file and also I'm importing this bib text file, which is downloaded in my download. So this file is actually all this, uh, the references extracted from Scopus. So now it is already uploaded. Now I have all those research articles. So I can accept this first line. And now I want to cite. And when I'm citing it, I will ask it to 
use my library and now it is giving me only those research articles which are basically from my library okay so it means that i'm citing the sources the research articles which i am working with and i have extracted from the scopus and uh, web of sciences so i can continue writing and it will start uh, analyzing my data and automatically give me the references which is available in my source file so that's amazing and i can uh, continue writing my introduction and even if, if something which you are not happy with you can ask it rewrite so we we can ask jenny.ai to write some different sources so now you can see it's have two different version of the same topic so you can work with jenny.ai create a good literature review article and especially when you are writing introduction jenny.ai will be helpful for you to generate uh, ideas and at the same time it is citing from the sources you mentioned or you have already uploaded in the library file that's how i'm using jenny.ai in my workflow it's an amazing tool it helped me to create quick citation working within my data set and also generating amazing idea so hopefully uh, this tool will be really helpful for you to write at any stage of your literature review process or either you are writing introduction literature review or conclusion or anything so this is an amazing tool for writing and analyzing the information we provide uh, to this ai tool so i hope this is a useful uh, video for you please try to use jenny.ai especially when you are writing introduction and conclusion of your research uh, 